Hello everyone and welcome to the Burning Clifford Show and as you can see, there's a fat ass here who needs to die. Wait, what? And now, onto the episode. <coughs> what do you two want from Moy? You're going with us, Brock. Yes, what he said. Yes, what he said. And who's telling you to go after me? Why would we tell you that? We think you can already guess who would send us after you. Well, enough dialogue. Enough dialogue, brother. Let's get him. <laughs> I knew you two would just lose. Simple as that. <laughs> Quite funny, don't you say? Giga Mario is not going to be too happy about this. A while later. Where the hell could Brock be by now? Barney Mason, what happened with you wearing glasses? One simple explanation. It's always hard. It's always hard for me to have glasses, which led to my downfall. Which led to me not being able to appear for over... For a few human years. And I don't want that happening to me again. Thank you very much. <sighs> but that's what's happened with me human-wise. What happened story-wise? You'll find out eventually. Pretty soon, pretty soon, I'd say. So... Did you bring the material? Did you bring the materials, Brock? <sighs> yeah, I did. Here you go. Thank you. <sighs> so. What did what did you two needed those materials for anyway? Because because we need to spy on someone. We're beginning to get suspicions that they're up to something not not good. Didn't expect you to be this much of a good guy, Mask. Or shall I say Justin? Really? You know the first thing people are going to... First people are going to think whenever they hear your name as The Mask. People are just going to think of the movie called The Mask that was... That, that, that was done by... That the person who played as The Mask was Jim Carrey. You know, the person that does Eggman in the Sonic movies. <sighs> Shut up. Just saying. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> but as I said, we need this stuff to spy on someone. 
And now if you excuse us, we're gonna go spy on said person. A while later. <sighs> Alright, Mask. So we're spying on him again? Well... Oh yeah, we haven't shown this to the audience yet. <sighs> we... are spying on someone currently. We've been spying on this person for the last while now. Since... Since practically, we've been spying on this person since at least, since at least, let's say, at least some point after Memphis was defeated. Or maybe even before that. Who knows? Better yet, who cares? <sighs> yeah, you're about to find out who the person we're spying on is here just in a moment. You know, I could get particularly bored around here. Especially since no one knows my secret yet. The secret that every single quote-unquote soul in my body, I am all one person. And that one person is me, Sonic EXE. A.K.A. Crimson, A.K.A. Light, A.K.A. a lot of other names that you've probably heard over the years. Because I've been around, I've been around these parts for years. Let's go see which random soul's gonna, which random person, let's, let's see what random person's gonna sell their soul to me for. Crimson. What? I come in peace, man. I come. I come to. I come for you to do a favor for me. And that would be. I'll sell my soul to you if you can get me a field of cocaine. Well, in that case, <laughs> consider that a deal, man. See what we're talking about? We've been having suspicions on Crimson, or who you guys know as Sonic EXE. He's been doing some very suspicious stuff for years. Yeah, I've been spying on him for years. He ended up joining me some point after he turned good. He started helping me spy on him. He probably was already spying on him without even me knowing, but we started spying on him together after. After he, oh, after he turned good. Yeah. No, let's go see what this buffoon. Wait. You said you were gonna get me a cornfield, man. Oh, I didn't say that, did I? Yeah, we're sparing you the details of that. We're not showing you what's about to happen. I think you can already guess. Well. Thank you for selling your soul to me, but it looks like I'm not going to be getting you that cornfield full of cocaine as you wanted. Better yet. No, please. I think I'm going to torture you very slowly and very painfully, and you'll die a slow, painful death as you watch all your loved ones die. No! No, man! No! I don't want to see all my loved ones die. Too bad. Cupcake. You're saying I EDP. Oh, you won't be saying that when I'm done with you. No. Yeah, we spared guy. We spared all of you the details. We got some. All right. Come on, Barney Mason. 
We're going to go investigate this. <sighs> Status support. There's blood. The, you can't. You guys can't see it, but there's blood all over this room. It means people have died in here before. Like lots of people have died in this particular room alone before. Well, looks like we got some incriminating evidence against Crimson. Shouldn't be surprised. What do you mean by that? You know how you're 140... Not 143. 123 years old. You are created on January 1st, 1900. The, the first day of the year 1900. January 1st, 1900. And you know... I was... I was... I am practically, I am practically the son of Memphis. I was created by Memphis. So you want to guess how old I am? I'm practically a demigod, which is why I was able to create you and Barney Walker. <sighs> You're very old. Yeah. I know. But, but, uh, Justin, what? I found, I found some code saying something about this thing called, um, the EYX. The EYX. Kremsis' attempt to create a new system before. I remember... He tried to create a new system, but we already had a system at the time. But we don't, since we don't have a system anymore, because the system got destroyed via the battle against Memphis. We really are screwed. We can't let him create the. E Cause the EYX to happen? What is that? Because if he releases his own system, it will kill us all. It'll reset everything. It'll kill us all. No! Yes. Now let's go before he returns. <sighs> well, everyone. Uh oh. We hope you all liked this episode, and yeah, be sure to like, subscribe, and do all that, and yeah, bye!